Bellefontaine Cemetery and Arboretum is the final resting place of many women of courage and fortitude. I'm at the final resting place of one such woman, Adeline Cousins, born Adeline Weston in Brighton, England in the year 1815. In her lifetime, Adeline was a nurse, a suffragist, an advocate for women's rights, and an unrelenting public servant. Adeline began her nursing career as a volunteer relief worker during the St. Louis cholera epidemic of 1849. During the Civil War, Adeline joined the Ladies' Union Aid Society of St. Louis and became a volunteer Civil War nurse. Adeline gave comfort and healing to soldiers on gruesome battlefields, troop trains, hospitals, and, hosp and on board hospital ships. She received no payment for her services. In her tenure as a Civil War nurse, she paid her own living and travel expenses and extended that courtesy to fellow volunteer workers who were in need. She was wounded twice during her tenure as a Civil War nurse. In 1882, she sustained severe frostbite while inspecting a battlefield for survivors. In 1863, during the, the Battle of Vicksburg, she was struck in the knee with a mini ball while serving on board a hospital ship. After the Civil War, Adeline continued her civil service as a nurse. She founded the Female Guardian Home of St. Louis, and she headed the Ladies Sanitary Corps. She also vigorously campaigned for suffrage and advocated for women's rights. Adeline's war wounds were painful and debilitating. In her later years, she found it difficult to walk and eventually became bedridden and impoverished. Friends and associates petitioned the federal government in an, in an effort to, to have a pension granted for her services. In 1888, Congress did indeed grant her a federal pension of $30 per month for her Civil War service. Adeline died in 1892 at the age of 76 in St. Louis, Missouri. She rests alongside members of her family in lot 919. I invite you to visit historic Bellefontaine and Cemetery and Arboretum at 4947 West Florissant Avenue. There is always something beautiful and interesting to see at Bellefontaine. Women have always had a voice in St. Louis, even before the vote. Beyond the Ballot, St. Louis and Suffrage brings their inspirational stories and groundbreaking achievements to the forefront. Discover them at the Missouri History Museum. Plan your visit at mohistory.org.